Well, you know, it used to be that mothers, families, and friends would introduce potential romantic partners for their daughters and sons, but technology has changed all of that, and a lot of it involves dating apps, and more of them are making a push away from hookups and toward meaningful relationships. Claire O'Connor, the in-house editorial director of dating app Bumble, joins us. Good morning, Claire. Morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Okay, so uh, for people who aren't familiar, how is Bumble different from the other apps, especially when it comes to women? Yeah, sure. So um, Bumble is actually not just a dating app. We also have Bumble BFF, which is a friend finding mode within the app and Bumble Biz for professional networking. But what really sets it apart is that women make the first move in all heterosexual matches. Um, what we've really found is that kind of sets the tone for the rest of the conversation. Um, and it's one of respect and gender equality from the start. Yeah, I love it. And, you know, I, I'm, I married uh, before the apps were a big thing, so I like to live vicariously through my coworkers. Um, but I know a lot of them have trouble, you know, maybe matching up with people. What are some of the tips that, that you have for making a good match and, and, and having success? Yeah, so um, we now have 85 million users around the world on our app. So we do have a lot of data and we've sort of mined it to, to figure out what the gems are that we can share with folks looking to make the most of their matches. I think the number one tip would be to use profile badges. What those are uh, is when you go into your Bumble settings, uh, you'll find them there. And these are ways that you can sort of telegraph your values and your lifestyle uh, without being too wordy and using up too much space in your bio. Mm -hmm. So. If you're a non-smoker, you might select that badge. Or, you know, if you're uh, into working out, there's a fitness badge. Uh, so what it does is just helps your potential matches figure out what you're all about. And it might not surprise you to learn that the two most popular badges are pet lovers. So whether uh -huh. that's you have one or you want one. And then there's star sign badge, since all things Zodiac are very hot right now. Oh, that's interesting. And I would imagine the more pictures, the better, I would think. You are correct, yep. Um, if, so we allow six photos on Bumble. We suggest you use all of them, all those slots, but we have data showing that even if you just use three and above, um, you have 31% more chance of uh, getting great matches. So we also suggest you use recent photos because no one's buying that 20-year-old photo of you right. in college. <laughs> um, and try to not, you know, there's I'm not a ton of use in having six very close-up selfies. Try to mix it up and try to, again, telegraph your personality through your photos. If you love hiking, show yourself on a trail. If you love kayaking, out on a lake. Um, and, you know, again, if you're a pet lover, have a dog in your photo. There's all sorts of ways you can make them worth the proverbial thousand words. And, and what does it mean to, you, you've talked about loosening up your settings. What does that mean? Yeah, so I think um, a lot of folks are kind of feeling set in their ways or rigid about what they think they want. Um, so if you're 30, you know, you might have your settings set from age 28 to age 32. Uh, we think that you can, you know, swipe with an open mind. There's no reason, you know, not to move that little bit. So you're uh, looking at folks five years younger and five years older. Of course, this depends on your comfort level. Um, but this also goes for a geographical radius. I think for a lot of us who are in cities, the temptation is like, oh, God, I don't want to schlep anywhere far. So you might have like two miles as your radius, but you're really missing out. So yeah. we should suggest if your setting is at two miles, maybe put it to five, 10, 20, <laughs> and you're gonna meet interesting people that way. Yeah, you can, you can drive a little. All right, well, Claire O'Connor with Bumble, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us. I, I feel like I learned something. <laughs> yeah, have a great morning. Oh, good. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah. You too.